What's up travel dudes? My name's Scott Titson and in this video I'm going to be exploring Lavinio in the beautiful Italian Alps. Now just a couple of hours outside of Zurich and we're already encountering some incredible scenery. It is a few hours drive but I really don't mind when you've got landscapes like this. Lovinio in the Italian Alps offers something for everyone, all in an untouched setting with century-old forests, beautiful valleys, crystal clear waters, snow-capped peaks and gorgeous landscapes. So we have just come to the top of the Mottolino lift which is on the east side of the mountain with beautiful views over Lovinio itself, especially on a sunny day like this. Later we're going to check out the award-winning snow park but for now we're going to go to the top of the mountain. We've now taken the furthest lift to the top on Della Neve Mountain, unbelievable sunshine and gorgeous panoramic views. Right, we're now stopping for lunch at the Camonel Mountain Hut, which sounds like it has an awesome atmosphere. We're gonna sit in the sun and maybe grab a beer. And I've just ordered Kukanya Livanaska. So we've just finished an amazing lunch at Camonel de Planon. We had some traditional Italian food. It's been the perfect break halfway through the day and now we're going to get on with some more skiing. We just finished skiing and already straight away Cosmo had the party started. It's the only place for Apre ski straight off the mountain. Let's go check it out. There's 
one thing I love to do, it's a brewery tour. This place is called 1816, which is the altitude of Lavinia itself. Now it only distributes inside Lavinia, so it's the only place you can find this beer, and it's been here around 15 years. Okay, so we just finished the brewery tour and now I'm gonna come remember what I was gonna say to do again. Now it's time to taste the seven different beers and I cannot wait. <laughs> and now we're gonna taste one of the seven different some no seven different beers they have on offer here. That one hit the roof. <laughs> and I cannot wait. So we just finished the brewery tour and now it's time to taste the seven different beers that they have on offer and I cannot wait. Is that done? I'm waiting for cup. <laughs> the moment that I've been waiting for, we are here now for some beer tasting and I'm with Andrea who's going to tell me about each beer. Now I understand that there's four classic beers and three special beers, is that yes, right? Yes, uh, three classic beer and four special because uh, a yeah, uh, typical beer of Livigno, from Livigno, there are some flavors of Livigno. And that's the ones at the back, the last ones we're going to yes, taste? Yes, the last one. So we start with three classic beers, four special beers. Right. There's uh, only some flavors, uh, there's some flavors from Livigno that you can only taste with these beers. So we're uh, pretty excited to get onto those ones. This is the, 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 the mind of, of beer, we think about every time pills. Okay. It's uh, very special because we, we Remember, every time you have to remember that beer is uh, for 95% water. So we use the Livigno's water, that is a very good water for, water. for beer and, uh, yeah. and fresh water. So This is a stout, like a Guinness, but it's a milk stout. Milk? Milk okay. stout, yes. We do this beer together with the, the house of milk here in Livigno, Latteria yep. Livigno. <laughs> That's absolutely delicious. That is our last beer, so I'd like to say thank you, Andrea. That has been fantastic. Thank you very much. Seven delicious beers, uh, particularly like the ones from Lavinio. So uh, this is uh, 1816, so if you come here, do go and try their beer menu. Have a look through. There's uh, absolutely unique ones at Lavinio because they're fantastic. After an awesome day on the slopes, we've now come to Acro Grande Spa, which has a family fun area, a fitness suite, and a wellness area and a sauna, which I'm looking forward to going and checking out. So I've just met with Margarita, who is born and raised in Lavinio. Now she has a really good fun fact about Lavinio, and that is that it has its own local dialect. So can you tell me about it? Yeah, we have, we have this strange uh, dialect, uh, which, which is quite weird compared to uh, regular uh, Italian dialect, because it sounds much more like uh, Swiss or German language. Uh, compared to uh, so Italian language, and uh, it's common. Uh, it's very common to find uh, like uh, small kids in Livigno that still speaks in uh, in dialect, and we use it a lot. Uh, we keep use it a lot, uh, and we use it a lot for uh, to name the hotels or the apartments as well. Yeah. And this means that we are very linked and connected to our tradition and our origins. For anybody watching who is from Lavinio, Alma Plage, Schierda, Alevin. Right in the heart of Lavinio, you have 250 duty free shops to go check out. I'd like to go and try and find some new goggles. You also have these traditional alpine huts, nice wooden style, and I need to find my skis for the ski touring.
if you love a good sunrise, then 25 people get the chance to come up the slopes before the general public. So we've just come up to Costaccia, which is where breakfast is included. We're going to go there later. Now we're going to take the chairlift all the way to the top and check out some fresh snow before anybody else. Just finished breakfast at Costaccio and now I'm with Alicea who has a special little treat for me. This is Resumera, it's a sweet drink really local from the interior, from Valtellina. It's prepared with whipped egg, uh, marsala and coffee. And basically the tradition was born some years ago when a new wife and new uh, husband needed some new energies to spend the night. So as Alicea said, they used to use this traditionally to consummate the marriage because it gave them a lot of energy. So now I better go and find myself an Italian girl. But usually now we use it to end the day during the high making. So this gives to local people the energy to climb up the mountain. We are here okay. and go to the top, to the piazza and maybe to Monte La Rocca. Already slippery here. So we've come to Trapale, which is the highest village in the Alps. We've got a guy to go ski touring, his name is Davide. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about this one, I've never done it before, but I'm super excited to get some incredible views over Lavigno. So we just made it to the top, we ski toured for two, two and a half hours and we're now at 2,500 meters. I'm absolutely exhausted, but this beautiful view, the beautiful panoramic views, the fresh mountain air, everything has been amazing. I really recommend that you do this if you come to Lavinia. The reason that we can actually ski uphill is thanks to this little sticky bit of material that you put on the on the bottom of the ski they used to make it from seal seal skin but uh, I think they realized that that was a bit unfair and then when you want to go down you want to ski again you just rip it off just like that and now we can ski Thank you so much. Thank you. It was tour. an excellent tour. Really enjoyed it. Fantastic. For a break from the slopes, you can see the beautiful Lovino Valley on fat tire bikes. Now they even have the option of e-bikes, which will just help you out for the uphill bits. But don't tell anybody. special because uh, Livigno is active so active for everyone you can go from a really simple walk into the nature 
to so to the most uh, adrenalinic uh, sports. I love shopping, and here we find uh, more than uh, 250 shop, duty free shops. And uh, it's good to warm a party because we have a uh, lot pubs and also a preski. Is uh, everything special for the people? They make always something more for the customers, and uh, is a uh, um, opportunity. For everybody. There is uh, always a lot of uh, snow and uh, there is a very large wild place where we can go to have fun out of piste and uh, we can take free ride and uh, it's magic. And what makes Lovinio so special to me? It's the unique community of locals, welcoming, friendly and very proud. Proud of their heritage, their traditions and their beautiful spot in the Italian Alps and some of the best slopes Europe has to offer. Lovino, I'll be back again soon.